Welcome back everybody, I'm Lars and this is Feed the Beast Infinity. Yeah, so first off today I want to show something off. Oh yeah, look at this. This uses shears to shear the bastards that are actually walking on top of it-ish. Not the most efficient way to do this, but, but it works. Oh, I need some more feed as well. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. You have the vacuum hoppers just sucking stuff into the main input, which works out great. Now, let's uh, have a walk. Just a nice little walk over to the uh, citadel, which is now the official name of the city I'm building. Okay. And you can see something in the distance here that I think gives it... It basically makes a bigger impression when you're flying around or walking around. It, uh, I think it looks pretty decently cool. Okay, let me just walk, walk. Yeah, look at this. I have to finish this wall very soon just to sort of get that thing uh, looking a bit cooler. Has no practical purposes at this point, but still it, it looks cool. And if we actually want to extend the slums a bit, it would probably be a good idea. Look at this, with the sign and everything, the citadel. I might want to change up the material there. I use the glowstone stuff, but uh, it looks kind of messy because it's the... Um, as you can see, it's the uh, chunky <laughs> type of glowstone uh, blocks here. And let's just uh, load, please. Walk inside. And I think... Uh, do we even care to take the elevator? No. Hello, traders. The flower girl walking around. The pig who wants to, I don't know, play with fluids or something. And uh, I'm working on getting a dense cable over here so we can actually do some more uh, interesting stuff. The, the fact that we have this thing here, it, this is good and we're going to keep this. It works great. But, uh, oh yeah. But for now, today we do have a different problem, uh, which I will show you here. I'm going to go meow, and into the mining world, and let's have a look at the coordinates. So this is the portal, right? It is at minus 18 and minus 40, right? Yeah, so let's see how far this uh, mining till thing has come. I've changed it up a bit so it doesn't leave the uh, mining wells anymore, which is good because, or the mining pipes. That was uh, pretty laggy. It was actually quite horrible. Yeah, you can see here it is doing its thing. I think we can... Uh, I could have overridden this, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I've set up controls back at the base. Now, getting here is okay right now. It's only like a thousand blocks. No problem, right? It takes a second. But if I leave this like overnight, it would probably go 5,000 more, which is a problem. Oh, by the way, oh, it really does look cool now, doesn't it? Look at this. Really clean look. Missed a spot. It happens. <laughs> It's not done yet. It's almost done, but it is not done yet. So what does this thing do differently? Well, it's smaller. So it, and it does basically almost do as much mining per well, time unit, really, as the uh, old one. But it is shorter. It is easier to deal with. And I think I had something here that these guys got stuck on. and. They sort of thought that, well, we still have a block. There's no block update, and yeah, I don't want to move. <laughs> Which is, of course, pretty bad. Now, uh, I have to go get some stuff here to uh, try to figure this out, but this should be a decently easy build. Well, maybe not easy, but not too complicated, and uh, yeah. So to start off here, we are going to set up, um, let's see, do we have power easily accessible on this side? So we'll set it up here. Yeah, that's perfect. We will set up a uh, 
thing here that's really holy crap those guys are noisy I am I might even set up a sound muffler over there just so we don't hear it from distance just a tiny little thing there okay so we'll set up oh and we'll add one of these tracks um I think you are supposed to be that away um, we need access to you and I don't know if you were the one I set up or not, but let's do this. Yeah, you should go to the frame miner, and you should both. Yeah, you so you should send me there, and you should also receive me from there. And I think the other one was sort of set up already. Um, frame miner, yeah, like this and like this. That's good. So these guys are now linked, which is great. And uh, we also need to, uh, you know, something like this. I could have put this in a smarter spot, probably, but whatever, whatever. Uh, let's just do this. And do I have any... Yes, yeah, so we can set that up to actually send energy as well. We probably should, actually. Uh, so we'll say frame miner. Um, private channel. I, I really like this. They're really cool. So just as so I remember and we need some fluxy stuff here. I uh, this is a redstone energy flux duct should be good. We'll just tap into the processing um, thing here that's all always active so it's gonna work out great. Okay, so that's good. Some receive buffer and all that thing. That's cool. It does take like 10 RF per tick to actually maintain, but that's really, really no biggie for us. Okay, so we need this. We Okay, I can actually keep that one. And we need a... So this is a locking track. We'll just uh, put it here. And uh, we need a disembarking track as well, but first of all, let's just do this. When you're going that way, you should unlock this. Why did I remove that? So is it a, a uh, I think it's a disembarking track here. That's not hard to make, and I, but I, didn't I have one? This, um, no. Okay, I'll go make that just we have it. But it's, uh, Nah, we'll set this up. I'll add it uh, afterwards. It shouldn't be too hard. We'll add it before I actually go to the other dim dimension. But we need this. This is for the disembarking track. This is like this. And now this thing, when we shoot off here, it should teleport us to wherever we set up the other side. Which, uh, of course, will be on the frame miner. Now, the good thing about these guys is that they work sort of like Tesseract, but they also, you can teleport on the tracks and they will stay in contact even if they move so uh, that is a good thing all right so it is set up on this side now and uh, hmm, this thing is draining rapidly but i don't want to try to get power over here that seems like it will be a hassle well i could just connect it there oh, we'll see so this is moving even though the thing is running, so that is a good first sign. Now let's test this thing. And hopefully I've set this up right. We'll get on this one. Why am I not being moved? You should be in boarding mode. Do you actually need redstone to do the boarding mode as well? That would be weird. You might actually. All right, let's see if this is the thing. Uh-huh, I'm going to put my magnet back. So, let's do this. Should now, whenever I'm on the cart on top of it, it should activate. Um, so we'll add the locking track. Uh, I don't know if, no. We need to actually be in the track. Holding mode, no, we need boarding mode uh, that way. And do like this and hopefully this will actually pu push us to the other side let's just hope that works oh why did I get kicked off here that shouldn't happen that really shouldn't happen 
this thing might not be necessary, but um, why did that happen? This should not activate. Well, it will activate here though, uh, which would be bad. Now let's just try this without that track. I might have to move this one one back, but uh, yeah, I'll have to go get another cart. Um, let's uh, let's just go get it. It should be pretty straightforward because we mu I think we have enough resources to make a couple of thousand carts. Uh, yeah, several thousand. We have a couple. Oh. No, like this. Thank you. We'll just make a couple. Just we have some to experiment with. Let's just get shot back down here and. All right, this should not push us off. What? Why are you pushing me off? That's the thing. You, I should be allowed to actually join here. Did they change something? I don't get this. to go to the other side and actually check that we or do I have to move this around? I thought it was this way but maybe you have to point it away nope doesn't matter you just get hmm all right I'll go to the other side again and see if I can figure this out seems it had actually been disabled in the configuration just be be just because there's some bug in it but now we shall see if this works okay so i got thrown out well that's good i guess you are okay as you are so that part should work now and that's okay Mm-hmm, might cover some more stuff up here. Can't really put anything here or here, but that, that's fine. Okay, let's just try this from both sides again. Just go here. Holy crap, that is laggy. Why do you lose your speed? Is this the right way though that's the thing I'm not 100% sure which way this should go uh, I've seen people say both things really oh so okay so we're out there if I do like so should be able to go like this and holy crap that was crazy okay so now you got shot that away Okay, so that is actually just which. Come on. That is which way you'll actually get pushed. You don't want a block after this because that just creates problems. Okay, so this should be fine. I don't know if you need a redstone thingy here or something just to give it uh, a push. But we'll try that. And I'll get back on. Okay, so that didn't work here because, of course, this is pointing the wrong way. Oh, it's this thing. You can't have a block after that. So that's probably the thing. Let's just do, let's just do this for now. So that counts as a block for this thing. Huh, interesting. Like this, we should be returned that way. And, and... Are you out of power, dude? What the hell? Oh, for some reason you aren't connected to that. So that should be better. You are still connected there though. Not sure what happened there, but whatever. Let's just go there. Uh, it should be shot over here. And now we should keep our momentum. That might have been this thing locking it. I don't know. 
Just should keep its momentum. That's sort of the whole thing there. That as long as you don't put a block after it, it should be able to do that. Yeah, it did it this time over here. So we got shot in this way, and we didn't actually need the thing after it. Well, let's try to remove the booster track. I thought you needed a booster track there, but let's try without it. So you could go away. We we'll actually have to remove it because you don't want a uh, booster track that's not activated there. That would be bad. I mean, let's go like this. And hopefully now we should just be pushed here. Yeah, so we are ready. We can do the stuff we need to do here. And then we can go back. And wherever this thing goes, we should be able to get back safely. I don't know why it doesn't keep my momentum here but does on the other side I think it's uh, slightly strange I put a thing here is the chunk loaded no this should be within chunk loading range I think I have a loader down here somewhere it should be a loader. The hell? Oh yeah, no, it's uh, it's on the other side here. And let's just verify that that is within the chunk. Yeah, so it's not a chunk loading issue. I don't know what it is, but this is at, at least functional. Let's go and turn the thing on here. Let it go a like for a couple of cycles. We can just do this. Look at this. So this is the item chest, the input, right? This is a normal ender uh, quarry input. And there it happens, I think. It should be just a... No, that might actually have been the thing here. It might have jumped already. Okay, so the ender quarry is not doing anything. It might be stuck somewhere. It does actually do that. Not often, but it does do it. All right. Yeah, so that's another round. We'll, we'll just leave it on. If we can't leave it on and still get out there, I'm uh, not going to be happy with this solution. But this works, and we get over here. And even if this is moving, we should... Yeah, so we were moving, and it corrected itself. That is very, very cool. So this thing is running. It is... <laughs> Pumping in our items. Look at that speed. It is just destroying everything. It's just, it's crazy. Oh, and there it goes again. Yeah. Holy crap. It's not actually as fast as it could be. For some reason, I think we might be... I might have to send a little bit extra po power down here, but it's fine. Sorry, bat. And then it goes again. So the timing seemed to be seems to be fine. This is cool. This is very cool. And we can just do this, go back. And yes, we will get stuck like this, but we could just give it a slight push. Why did I get pushed off there? So that works. Huh. That's very strange. Oh well, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. We will, uh... Huh. Yeah, we can live with that for now. I might have... Might do some more, uh testing and see if I can figure out the last couple of details there yeah so this works we have a way of actually getting back out to our uh, crazy crazy miner look at this mark 2 is awesome oh wait 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 while I'm here I might as well show you the other thing I did the other day yeah uh, I made one more of these guys it's full now it is uh, yeah, it's able to do like 24,000 
and I also upgraded the other one so that I could do like 16 or 18. That's a decent amount of power. We are basically able to more than cap out our central infrastructure downstairs, which means we probably should upgrade that at some point. I will probably set up a proper power station somewhere. Maybe downstairs, just set up a bigger building with uh, all the things we need to really route power around. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll do that next time, though, because this is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.